Commissioner, when you say that the defendant was making hysterical efforts to stop the exhumation of her late husband's body, what did you mean exactly? Can you describe the actions of the defendant that led you to this conclusion? Well, it's just my opinion, but anyone who breaks into a crypt to get to a dead body has to be a little hysterical. I see. So when you were called to the scene to Victor Lord's mausoleum, what did you find there? The lid to Victor Lord's crypt had been pried open. Now, could this have been done by someone's, his or her, bare hands? No, it's not likely. The uh, marble weighed more than 200 pounds. We found a, a tire iron there, uh, like a lug wrench, and we believe that's what was used. I see. The, the lug wrench that was previously admitted into evidence as property of Dorian Lord. Now, as far as you can determine, Commissioner, why did Dorian Lord try to open the tomb of her long-deceased husband? I can only assume it was to destroy the remains. Oh, objection, Your Honor. I mean, we're not here to listen to this witness's assumptions. In his capacity as Commissioner, it is reasonable to assume that Mr. Buchanan may have to make uh, some professional conclusions that could be called assumptions. No, I'll allow it. Your Honor. Would defense counsel prefer that I ask the witness to rephrase his answer so that it's more acceptable to you? Proceed, Mr. Gannon. Thank you, Your Honor. Miss Lord was in the crypt with this lug wrench. Did you find anything else? Yes, Mrs. Lord had also brought a container of caustic lye. I see, and would you please tell the court your professional conclusion based on the details with which you were confronted early that evening? Mrs. Lord went there, broke into the crypt with the sole intention of destroying whatever was left of Victor Lord's remains before we could exhume the body and conduct another autopsy. Thank you, Commissioner. I have no further questions. Uh, Commissioner Buchanan, you might want to give me a chance to cross-examine you. And again, I might not. <laughs> Use this. Use what I've written here. Dorian, please. Uh, may we move these proceedings along a little? Excuse me, Judge Hawthorne. I apologize for the delay, but is it possible? Could we, we have a brief recess of maybe 10 minutes so I may confer with my client? Fine. Thank you. 10 minutes. Thank Take your time. I'm in no hurry. <laughs> um, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I, I have the distinct impression that I'm, uh, I'm missing something here. Uh, Your Honor, if I may, the police commissioner and defense counsel are in the unenviable position of being on opposite sides of this case and engaged to one another. Ah, well, I, I do hope that your personal relationship will not affect your ability to cross-examine the witness. No more than it will for Commissioner Buchanan. Fine, as long as we're all going to be professional about this. Court stands in recess, ten minutes. Nora, you have got to use this information. I mean, Bo is so biased against me, it's pathetic. Now is your chance to prove it. Dorian, please, just stop it. No, you have got to discredit him. You know what? I thought we had decided that you weren't going to represent yourself, that I was going to be the attorney. Silly me. Bo has always had it in for me because I was against his marrying Cassie. He tried, he tried to, 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 to imply, well, no, he accused me, actually, of trying to gaslight my own daughter. He talked her into, he talked her into committing herself to a mental institution, feigning a nervous breakdown. Imagine the, the effect that that had on her mental state then, on her current mental condition. And all of that was to prove malicious, ridiculous lies about me, lies, Nora, which were every bit as false then as this murder accusation is about me now. You know what? I have a great idea. Why don't you do the summation, okay? You have got to tell the jury. I you have, have been trying to... to do that up until now, all right? Nora, he married Cassie without truly loving her. And on their wedding day, he abandoned her so that he could be with his one true love, Sarah Gordon. I think it is safe to say that that is a gross exaggeration of the events. Crucify him. Do to him what Vicky and Sloan are doing to me. 
I don't need your advice, Dorian, and I mean it. I do not need your advice. Now, I don't think anyone's best interest will be served by dragging Bo's past with Cassie. What do you the mean? A lot will be and served. And I hasten we'll to add that Bo's past is also your daughter's past. Do you really want to do that to Cassie? Cassie's not in this courtroom. Bo is. I will do whatever it takes to be free again. I expect no less from you. You okay? Yeah, sure I'm okay. Nora and I both knew that this was going to be part of the job, so uh, we're both we're going to be fine about this. Um, Vicky and Jessica, they get to the West Coast, okay? Uh, Jessica called me from Los Angeles. Trip was fine. What? Well, I don't know. It's obvious things aren't perfect. In fact, Jessica was crying on the phone when we spoke. Oh, my God. Such a tough age, you know. Well, she just can't seem to accept the fact that her mom is going to marry Sloan. Well, who can? I think Vicky's uh, doing the best thing, though. I mean, she keeps reaching out to her. She's putting all her energy into trying to help her. I admire her for that. Well, Vicky could never not be there for one of her kids. That's just her nature. Yeah. Frankly, I'm kind of glad she's not here for a few days. I could tell it was uh, really starting to take a toll on her, Bo. I mean, especially after the... Uh, cross-examination that Nora put her through the other day? Yeah. Can't say that Nora doesn't do her work 100%. <laughs> you know, for a fellow who's about to uh, go through the same kind of thing, are you sure you're not being a little cavalier about all this? Oh, I already told you. We're both professionals, okay? We can handle this. Come on. Hey, guys. About to start. Hey. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll see you. Inside. Okay, thanks, Clint. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, what? What's with this? I just told Clint that we were really cool about it. You're gonna make a lie around of me now? Oh, I hope to God I don't. <laughs> oh, I want you to remember something, no matter what happens in there. I love you. Boy, hey, Red, the same goes for me. Don't worry. I'll be in a second. Given your short tenure at, uh, as police commissioner, you don't mind a few questions about your experience, do you? Not at all. How many murder arrests have you made? One. This one? Yes. Did you find it unusual that the commissioner himself would be involved in such an arrest? Objection, Your Honor. The commissioner's performance is not on trial here. Oh, but it is. Police performance is as much an issue in court as any criminal activity. Yes, I'll allow it. Continue, Miss Cannon. Thank you, Your Honor. Did you find it odd that you made the arrest yourself? I was just doing my job. Commendable. And with how many attempts at uh, fleeing bail have you dealt? One. This one? Yes. Hmm. I see. So you've ha made one arrest for murder and you've experienced one alleged bail jumping. That's not a lot of experience, is it? How can you be confident about your ability to evaluate criminal circumstances when you haven't had very much experience at all? How long have you been police commissioner, Mr. Buchanan? Two months. And what was your background prior to that? Were you, did you work your way up through the police ranks? No, I was appointed by the mayor. Ah, a political appointee. But I did attend the police academy after the appointment on an informal basis. Oh, I see. You just, what, kind of hung around class? Uh